Hey YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here, and uh, I made the big mistake of getting into a discussion with uh, a lot of fellow fish keepers about what's the best food. What's the best thing to feed your fish? And uh, you know, you wouldn't think people would be so passionate uh, about something like this and uh, <laughs> it quickly, it quickly turned, it turned into a <laughs> You gotta love that movie, Animal House. <laughs> anyway, people are pretty passionate about their food and uh, uh, the, uh, probably the best comment that was made in the entire discussion was uh, from, uh, from Lisa. Lisa, who happens to own Super Cichlids, and, uh, and, and she made a point that I thought was very, very good. What's happened is that since a lot of players have come in into the game, and, uh, and, and you know, you have mediums, you know, you have uh, platforms like YouTube and, and uh, Vimeo and Facebook and Instagram and what have you, you know, Twitter, all these different platforms. What it's done is it's really, um, it's really forced these uh, food manufacturers to really clean up and, and uh, up their game. I mean, you can see here what Lisa said. And I think that's a very wise comment, especially from somebody who's really in the industry. Uh, really in, in it deep the way she is. I mean, she shows up at shows, she has a retail business, and she is constantly evaluating sales and product quality and ingredients. And so what, what, <clears throat> what I see has happened is, you know, you have players like, like uh, you know, Northfin. Northfin all of a sudden comes on the scene from Canada, and, and you look at their ingredients and you don't really see a lot of fillers, you don't see a lot of preservatives, you don't see a lot of junk. And you also notice that after you feed your fish, your, your, your tank isn't cloudy. So th that's a big plus. And, and you know, prior to that, you had things like Omega and uh, you know, certainly, certainly NLS, uh, New Life Spectrum, was uh, considered a, a, you know, sort of like a, uh, the monster, you know, one of the, one of the key, one of the key uh, food producers in the industry. Uh, for me personally, it was actually clouding up my water, and that was my personal experience with it. So when I switched to Nor when, I, when I switched to, to Northfin and found that it didn't, that that was sort of a game changer for me and made up my mind. Meanwhile, you have other, you know, other products that have come on the market. You have Cobalt, who now has a probiotic. Uh, type of food that has come on the market, which people are, are I'm hearing really good reports on. And you have other, uh, of course, you have things like like uh, uh, the PE uh, pellets, the Piscine Energetics, which uh, my fish love. They love this stuff. I picked up this sample at the American Cichlid Association, and uh, they love it. And of course, Northfin offers other products like its Krill, Krill Pro, uh, you have people like like a, there's there's a fellow named Ron Cichlids. This guy's making making the food from scratch, so it's preservative free and and really good for your fish. You have guys like Ken, you know Ken's uh, Premium. These are spirulina sticks. You know they mess up the tank for about 20 minutes until your filter cleans it up. But the fish love it, and it's, and it's a good way to get veggies into your fish, help them with their digestion, also provide other types of uh, other types of needed fiber and other things. Spirulina, I like these flakes. I mix these in to my, uh, to my feeding at least once a week. Spirulina Zoomed, it's a Zoomed product. I met some of the Zoomed folks over at the American Cichlid Association. Very good product. And uh, you know, I feed wafers, of course, for some of the plecos that I have in here. But uh, at any rate, in the, in, the, uh, in the survey that I conducted over at the Facebook group, uh, it, it, it seemed like, like Northfin was the overwhelming favorite. And uh, maybe that's to be expected if you're dealing with a lot of folks who are strictly into African cichlids. Uh, they certainly have come on very, very strong in the market. You have numerous distributors from Super Cichlids to Jay Wilson over at Northfin USA and, and uh, I think uh, Evan Alexander IFG. He even found it at a local fish store, the 360 fish store over in Texas. So. Um, it, it's really coming on strong in the market. They certainly have a presence. I've had very good success with that food. 
uh, but the truth is these fish, the ones you see behind me, these, these African cichlids, they're, they're pretty voracious. They'll go after anything. Now, what's not, what's not displayed up here is also the wide variety of frozen foods. You know, I've been, I've been offering them some San Francisco frozen krill, and uh, the fish go crazy on the krill. They love it. And so uh, there are certainly a lot of choices out there. And um, as Lisa said, as Lisa said, there the manufacturers are being forced to up their game because of the of, of, of the benefits of social media. If your food is uh, full of fillers, junk, and dyes, and unnecessary ingredients. It's not like you can sell a million units before people catch on through word of mouth. And uh, it's not like that anymore. With social media, everyone will know that uh, your fish are spinning out the food and not eating it. And, uh, and it's also clouding the tank. The word will get out very, very quick. This is a good thing. It's a good thing for all of us. Uh, me personally, what I love doing is I love giving my fish a variety. That's just me. Uh, that works for me. Um, my fish are, are, are doing well, and I think uh, uh, personally, I just kind of look at it from the viewpoint, and I know that fish are very different from humans. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, but for me personally, I would hate to just have the same uh, routine every day. Plus, I, I think different foods provide, they do provide different percentages of different, like fat or protein or certain kinds of, you know, vegetable protein versus animal protein. So, so I like to provide a variety of food to fill in some of the gaps that might, might exist in some of the foods. So, hey, what's your opinion about food? What, what's been your, your favorite food? What, what has given you the most success? What, is there a food that you're using that you noticed a difference after you started using it? That would really interest me. I mean, that would, that, that, and it would interest people that read the comments under my videos. Uh, what, if you actually saw a change in, in your fish after switching to a certain brand. Okay, so post your comments below. Uh, let me know. Uh, jump in the conversation over at the Ben O'Cichlid uh, Ben O'Cichlid Facebook group. And thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this, uh, this provided some information and I would love to hear what you have to say as well. All right. Thank you so much.